What little we saw of the hotel was in pretty good shape. I'd recognized a lot of it from movies. I had, uh, and not that long uh, after I moved here the first time, was in That Thing You Do came out, the Tom Hanks movie. And, and they made it look great. They had the coffee shop, they had the hallway set up, they had the entrance all set up, and it looked really, really good. So uh, I don't know how deteriorated it, it was originally, uh, or not originally, but you know, after, after the decades of it sitting there rotting away. But what we saw, aside from, you know, in the kitchen, there was, there was in certain corridors, there was a lot of paint flaking away and, and things like that. But I think most of the locations that we saw have been used in films a lot, so it looked pretty good. The pantry, no, they didn't use it in any movies, but uh, so it was kind of dark and not so nice. But and, and also uh, the ballroom. Uh, what was the, that ballroom? the embassy ballroom. The embassy, yeah. The embassy was in pretty bad shape. It was in you know, a lot of pieces of ceiling, uh, you know, hit the floor, and uh, it wasn't the fres the frescoes were still up at that point, but the carpet was all uh, was all moldy and it wasn't looking terrific. But it wouldn't have taken very long for it to be neatened up. We had uh, we got some terrific photographs. Now, what was odd about it is because, you know, one of the main reasons I think that the Ambassador Hotel was still living at that point was because of the assassination, because such a, a fascinating historic event happened there that, uh, and I believe that was a lot of the, uh, the struggle, although architecturally it was beautiful. And ironically, the structure they tore it down for looks just like the hotel. I don't get that at all. So as we were going through the hotel, we were welcome to take photographs anywhere we wanted, except for the pantry. You know, they said, no, 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 out of respect for the Kennedy family, we can't, we can't, we ask you not to take pictures of the pantry, which I, you know, it's history, it's our history too. That's what I don't understand why they were so, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a solemn event. It's something that should be respected, but you can't go, it's mine, it's mine. It's the history of, of the country. And uh, so I found that a bit ludicrous. So I, I shot off a few pictures in the pantry. <laughs> <laughs> and also, uh, prior to this, I had, uh, because they moved, they used to look for a lot of location filming. And someone presented me with, I don't have it today, somebody presented me with a piece of linoleum. Uh, because at the very spot where Bobby was shot in his head lay, uh, if you, had you been in, had you been in the hotel? Have you gone in? I've gone to the new school. But okay. I've never visited the hotel. The, the actual space where Bobby Kennedy landed, where his head was, uh, about this much of the uh, linoleum was peeled up. You know, people would go in over the years and, and pop up pieces of it and save it uh, as, a, uh, as a ghoulish souvenir, ghoulish if you will. And uh, so I have a piece of that as well. And um, what exactly do you mention? Um, when you're on your tour? When we started the tour, we took, it took a long time to get up to the Ambassador. That was about a, probably 25 minutes of a, of a two and a half hour tour devoted to the Ambassador. And uh, while, was, while, we, while we were approaching the building, uh, I would tell a bit about the history and the Academy Awards and the Coconut Grove. And, uh, and then as we turned and we stopped in front of the hotel and it was you know, in perfect view on the left of the, uh, of the vehicle, I would play that, uh, that very famous recording that was taken about of Bobby Kennedy's assassination live. And uh, it was quite, I still, I still get goosebumps when I think about it because, you know, such an epic event, you know, potentially worldwide, you know, ripple effect. I, 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 granted, he was an American politician, but, you know, his, his potential, hypothetically, was huge. And uh, so it potentially worldwide ramifications. And, uh, and then to just think, there in that, in that place, in that building, is where this very recording happened. And it was chilling. It was very chilling to hear people screaming and, and to be right there where it happened. It was, uh, it was a moment, most definitely. And people were very moved by it. What were the typical reactions? Just silence, you know, and, and I, it's funny, as many times, and this sounds so dramatic, as many times as I've done it, hundreds of times I sat there, I still get goosebumps and occasionally I get, I get choked up because it was, it was so sad to listen to these people absolutely panicking and not knowing what the hell was going to happen and knowing the scope of what did happen afterwards. It, it was really, it was epic. You know, you can, you can go to Paris and you go to that tunnel where Diana died and that, and that one pole with the dent in it, and I think they've covered it, up, covered it up since, but when you think about what happened to Diana, 
everything that happened afterwards. And then you think you could, you look at that post and you see that chunk taken out of that post that's that big, and you think, what happened after that? And this, everyone in the world went bananas. You know, they were they were setting up, you know, grieving centers in every country in the world. So I, it wasn't that big, but it was, you know, I just say it, it affected the world so deeply, uh, or the country very deeply that it was, it's, it's profound, I thought, in my way, but that's what I do. Yeah.